Hi guys, right then, um, start off with uh, telling you what, uh, what I'm all about. Basically I um, started making stuff out of cardboard um, probably about 11 months ago. Uh, made quite a lot of stuff. Started off when I seen a guy build a aeroplane um, out of cardboard and then turned it RC. Um, his name was Dynam Aero and it was fantastic. I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. So, I got some cardboard out and uh, some glue and I made myself uh, a little aeroplane. Um, I had a helicopter that I uh, broke, quite a big one, so I used a few parts off it, a motor, um, what have you, and I put it on the back, uh, just how he had on his, uh, as like a push prop. And, um, yeah, I had it zipping across the floor, obviously it didn't fly, it was only a little um, two inch propeller or two and a half inch propeller or something. Um, but from that, I started making other things, um, hovercrafts that worked. Um, I looked in a guy called uh, Pete, Pete Hovercraft, who built uh, one out of plywood and one out of cardboard. So I pretty much copied his design. Um, but basically, I'd used little parts that I took off a helicopter and never had the right parts, really. I had no steering, all I had was go. Um, so... After making a few more things, um, a sniper rifle, a halo pistol and a big mini gun, I decided to get back down and start making a hovercraft with a bit more style. So I created this, it's like a stealth style hovercraft, with your YouTube logo on there, um, tarp on the bottom for, uh, for the skirt. Um, basically I built it about three or four months back, um, painted it all up and it's just been sitting here really, um, waiting for parts. So for Christmas, I got my mum to buy me this. It was uh, I think it was forty pound, which is quite a bargain if you're in America. Probably about fifty five bucks, sixty bucks. Um, but yeah, it came with the um, the transmitter, uh, a receiver, two servos, the uh, switch harness, um, some some uh, cable toy straps, and some servo cushions, and a few other little bits and bobs. Um, but I didn't have a motor or a speed controller, so I went on eBay um, and I purchased uh, a little set. It's um, I don't know if you can make it out. It's a mystery uh, speed controller, 30 amp, and also the brushless um, motor. It's a 4,000 kV motor. Um, little servo there which I hooked up to the rudder, uh, which is fine. That all works really well. Um, but I got to a point where I had the steering setup working excellent. I've just received the speed controller and the motor a few days back and the prop. Uh, well, I bought a few props. Um, but I got a, my buddy round yesterday to extend the wire from the motor round so it comes through this little hole here um, and connects up to this end of my speed controller. But when I did it, I realised that there was no, nothing was happening, the motor wasn't working, and that's because. The battery pack that I got with the actual kit connects up to my receiver um, via a little battery slot at the top here. Oh, sorry, no, it goes into the back of this switch, the on-off switch, and then it's plugged into the battery, which obviously gives it power to the receiver. Now, you get the end of the electronic speed controller, and obviously I'd plug that into uh, controller number two. So then when I plugged the switch into the battery slot, it wasn't giving any power at all to the speed controller. And then I realised, right, it's got to be the battery connected up to the two battery cables, the red and the black there, coming off the speed controller. Now, what I'd done was I cut the ends off the battery box and connected them up to the battery end of the speed controller. Um, and it... There's not enough power, obviously, in these four batteries to run this motor, but it did give a it gave a, a beep as if it registered, um, and it did spin like you know two or three rotations and then stopped. But I'm I'm pretty certain that that's down to not having the sufficient power running through these batteries. I'm presuming I'm going to need a lipo battery, but my problem is. Once I've connected this battery box up to the battery cables on the ESC, it's giving a permanent live from the battery to this, and the switch is then left dormant. Um, 
and I can't understand uh, what I've got to do to get this switch involved and the only thing I can think of is to have the battery plugged into the back of the switch on this side so you break the circuit obviously breaks here plug this end of the switch into the battery connection on the receiver and then from here running a cable from the center of this to the ESC then when I hit the switch on off it's going to break a circuit between the receiver the ESC and the battery but that don't seem right I don't think I should have to start bearing wires and running cables off um, I've got no knowledge at all in using the correct equipment this is just I've put this together from my mind um, I've looking on eBay getting a few little different ideas from forums but there's something missing um, and it's really frustrating me is there anyone out there that can give me some help um, obviously I want to get this up and running in the next couple of weeks so um, yeah get back to me please I will appreciate it um, and I can show you all how it runs it should go pretty quick I've bought this is a, a six inch propeller as well that's what I was getting to 4000 kV motor I've bought uh, three propellers I've got a 5.5 by 4.5 uh, this one here is a, a 6x5.5 and then this one here which is a 6.5x5.5 just to basically see which one would generate enough power um, you know get try and get that uh, that balance um, but yeah I'm stuck can't get the motor running round please someone help um, I know I'm going to need a LiPo battery but how would I involve that switch um, thanks for watching guys and hopefully uh, someone will offer me some advice and I can get this bad boy on the road. Thanks for watching guys.